Back in 2019, Oracle made a supercomputer with a superb Raspberry Pi 3B Plus cluster, featuring 1,060 boards. Raspberry Pi cluster building has really come a long way, getting multiple Pis together not only means combined performance, it also creates a budget-friendly cluster computing environment, and people love home labs because they get to have full control. Oftentimes, there may not even be a cluster, you could be buying a 4B just to replace the old Pi 3, or you could merely have multiple Pis doing different works at once. Pi hole, Cody, etc. Either way, you get several Pis lying around. And whether you are an owner of a dedicated cluster or a multi-pi set, the problem is obvious. You need to find ways to house them. That's the reason why customized cluster cases came into play, and why so many 3D printed server rack mounts were built by the community. This is the most common solution people would choose. It's basically putting one pie on top of another with spacers and acrylic sheets. A shelf-like cluster is inexpensive, easy to build, and you can add as many pies as you want. Does this mean the case is good for building large-scale pie clusters? Absolutely not. People use this type of case because 1. It's their first time playing with a pie cluster, 2. They don't have a server rack around. Putting your pie clusters into 19-inch server racks is not overkill at all, it saves you tons of time and effort with cable management, and you will be dust-free, and don't ever have to be afraid of accidentally damaging the boards anymore, whenever one pie fails, you can easily swap it. Step 1. Choose a rack mount. Use rack mounts instead of other cluster cases, a ready-made standard 1U or 3U mount should be good, usually they can fit into any server racks and cabinets, and if you happen to have a 3D printer, consider making your own ones. Step 2. Raspberry Pi and Bracket Assembly. This should be the easiest part, simply follow the instructions to install all the pies and mount it into the server rack, if one bracket can't handle the cluster, simply add another, there's no need for a rack rail. Step 3. Wire them up. Once you've installed the rack mount, hook the cluster up with essential supplies like SD cards, power adapters and Ethernet cables. If you are using 3D printed ones, there could be some modification work. When you are done connecting all the cables, give them a test run, see if all the pies can properly boot up, this is where most people will ran into problems, if everything works good, you are all set. If they don't, double check for connection issues, do separate tests with each pie, use different power supplies, this can take a while, but when you eventually get it up and running, it will be all worth it.